looks to change their side for the first time this season. Ashley Grimes comes in at number eight for the injured Arnold Muren. The two United players without experience of European club competition before tonight are both World Cup men. The emerging Norman Whiteside, and perhaps surprisingly, Captain Ray Wilkins, who has won 52 international caps, but has never played in Europe for either Chelsea or United. In contrast, 10 of tonight's Valencia squad took part in their 1980 Cup Winners' Cup success against Arsenal. They have three World Cup players, number five, Tendilio, and number seven, Saura, both of Spain, and the famous Argentine at number 10, Mario Kempis, now in his second spell with Valencia, but tonight lacking the support of two other international forwards. Arneson, the Dane, is injured. Veltzel, the Austrian, is not eligible. Tonight's referee, Dusan Kuchniak of Czechoslovakia, who took charge of the Anderlecht Aston Villa European Cup tie last season when there was some crowd trouble and Aston Villa were punished and had to play their home match this afternoon behind locked doors. And a very powerful run right from the kickoff. Ashley Grimes will take the left hand side of midfield where Muren would normally play, and Grimes forces a corner for United. Stapleton and McQueen in together and Grant shoots and wide. Powerful start here by United and in particular by Grimes. Ball falling to him conveniently from the corner and he should do have done rather better perhaps had the game been going on longer. Orbiston. Spaniards have now decided that Bochubot will pick up Whiteside and Tendilio is with Stapleton. Here's Carete, who I think will mark Koppel. <laughs> Ashley Grimes, Wilkins, Buchan, McQueen. Oh, Whiteside from Stapleton's chest control corner again and McQueen and the goalkeeper and Grimes again with a chance turned in by Robson against the defenders legs Orbiston Touched by Whiteside, right on the goalkeeper, right on the six-yard line, but Sempere held on. Ray Wilkins' corner, and clearly these in-swingers are worrying the Spaniards. Sempere got a hand to it, it came out finally to Robson, then it was driven back again by Orbiston, and Whiteside foiled by Sempere. So a busy man here in the first five minutes. That was Bochubot, man chasing is Saura. <laughs> Valencia team, needless to say, selected with a view to keeping the score down as much as possible away from home. With the second leg to come in a fortnight, here's Grimes. United have got to make the pace in the home leg and they're doing that with Robson, but too long for Orbiston. Stapleton picking up a loose one and looks for Duxbury who will have to beat Pablo <laughs> only by conceding a throw-in Duxbury who's been named in the England squad for the under 21 final against West Germany held over from last season that'll be played next Tuesday the first leg at uh, Bramall Lane Sheffield 23 now. Castellanos for Valencia.
This uh, Valencia marking system allowing them at least one free man and sometimes two in defence. Here's Orbiston. White side is in space. Well found. The middle was wide open there. Beautiful ball from Arthur Orbiston, who saw the possibilities, picked out Norman Whiteside ahead of three defenders. Not the best of shots. Kempes for Valencia, looking for a break now with Roberto through the centre. And he was quick, but not quick enough to beat two of them. It was Tendilio coming in on Grimes. Oh, and my word, one of the defenders leaving Whiteside on the floor. Botchubot, I think, was the, was the offender then. That was behind the referee's back. The first sign of nastiness from the Spaniards. Castellanos. Could be dangerous as uh, Moreno breaks. Number four. Now, Tendilio, the number five, almost certainly will go up for the corner. Frank Stapleton has come back to mark him. And that was Roberto with the header, and it was Stapleton who cleared. But Kempis could... Oh, he's offside. Kempis shows descent. And Whiteside shows for Grimes. Orbiston. McQueen. And too long for Stapleton. Sempere, quick to see Pablo making a break. And he's taking on Duxbury. And Wilkins, and he's got possibilities here with Roberto. And that's a fair effort, a brilliant shot. By Roberto Fernandez, who's only playing in this tie because certain other players are ineligible. The manager had a long chat with him out on the pitch here last night during training, and it may have had some effect because he wasn't afraid to try a swerving shot there from well over 25 yards. Duxbury. Pablo. Ray Wilkins. So much of the direction United's play stems from him. Duxbury. Foul. White side. Foul by Botchubot. side McQueen is the main target from the ball floated to the far side but there are others around including Robson and Stapleton and was he checked there no apparently not Gordon McQueen appeared to be impeded by Arias he appealed for a penalty but the play is still with United Botchubot clears And Pablo here. Saura coming up to his right. Pablo by himself if he comes this way. But at the other end, was there a case for a penalty? Watch Gordon McQueen come in, striding on the far side of the area. Watch the defender climbing a bit, pushing a bit perhaps. Difficult to see what sort of contact there was on our blind side, but McQueen certainly went down. them down and he's got the yellow card Jose Carete 
seven yellow cards in the Spanish league last season, well known for his tough tackling, and he brings down Steve Koppel. Vicious tackle by Carete. Koppel a nice turn, Wilkins to his right. Stapleton and Robson in the middle, and Robson came in first, didn't make it. Neither did Whiteside, Koppel did. Wilkins is off the pitch. Standing there as Whiteside goes in fairly heavily. Referee quickly across to sort it out. The Spaniards will overreact, you can be sure of that. Test for the referee. Whiteside, impetuous. Still not used to this type of football despite the World Cup. Yellow card for Norman Whiteside. Just see what happens here. Whiteside goes in, looking, I think, at first for the ball. Carete seemed to shake that one off all right. Then he slipped, and uh, the referee came across, and I wouldn't have thought that was as bad as the Spaniards made out. Kempis moving into a right-wing position, which could be ominous, because Saura, Pablo and Roberto have all made runs inside. Roberto... Tackle there was by Robson, the referee has given a corner. Kempis hanging back at the far side. came off Carete to Stapleton, here's Wilkins, Koppel darting down the right wing, white side far post, not a bad ball, taken away by Bocciobot, here's Moreno to Saura, and now Kempis, Moreno continues his run, Pablo comes in from this side, Kempis with Roberto backing up, Saura, Well, intercepted by Grimes. Beckham. Every United player pushing on now. Duxbury among them. That came off Pablo for the corner. Grimes to curl it in. Robson! What an amazing save! Grimes. Well, that seemed to me from here a tremendous stop by Sempere. Robson comes in, it's almost point blank. And just look at that. What a fabulous save. Sempere excelling himself here in the first half. Just a procession into the Valencia danger area all the time. But the danger for Manchester United is if they leave themselves light behind. And a bit of nonsense off the ball, but Whiteside is away. Referee has seen that there have been two bad fouls in the last two minutes. who went down there was number four, Moreno.
Kemper saying to the referee that that wasn't an accident. Moreno goes off for treatment. And on comes Solsona, who was, funnily enough, uh, quite a mate of Ron Atkinson's in the summer when they met together in Spain. Right side up with Bocci Box. Right side goes down as though collapsed. Grimes sent away, having a great half, and knocked to the ground by Stapleton. And in they go again. Chaos now, look at that. Correte pushed him, he's already been booked. And the referee needs his linesman to come on the pitch. And this is a repeat now of what we've seen so often before from Spanish teams in European football. Total and unnecessary overreaction. Once mine goes back, even as far as 65-66, when Valencia played Leeds at Ellen Road, and the referee took the teams off the field, there was so much trouble, to let them cool down. And what happens in this attack is that Frank Stapleton makes a legitimate attempt, first of all, to go in, then, typically British, he charges the goalkeeper, and then they come piling in. Solsona, normally a first-choice player, incidentally. Saura to Kempis. Oh, that's a brilliant piece of skill, but Ashley Grimes getting back so well to help Olberston. Right side, ball was out, I think. Oh, and Grimes got caught off the ball by Saura. Yellow card. Saura, the captain. Seen by the linesman, if not by the referee, Saura is booked. The ball had gone up the line, and Saura had a go at Ashley Grimes. And he's one of the more reputable Spanish players, Sara. Side Solsona. Arias. Oof, that's risky. Castellanos. Solsona. Pablo. Robson to right side. Well played, got away from his marker there. Alderston coming up in support, looking for Frank Stapleton. Actually, Tendilio has done a good job on Stapleton in the first half, that must be said. Wilkins... He's doing a little bit of pushing there as well. The end of the first half, no score, but three bookings. The referee, as so often in European matches where Spanish teams are involved, the focal point, because there have been some stormy moments, and in the midst of all the fury, Manchester United have had nearly all the play, but have failed to break through, partially due to a fine performance by the goalkeeper. The save he made from Robson's header from the corner was quite outstanding. Just look at that. This is only the second European club competition match to be played at Old Trafford for five years. The previous one, uh, two years ago, when United played Bidzev Lodz, ended in a draw here, and United went out on away goals. The score here was 1-1 that night. Tonight, so far, it's 0-0. Tendilio for Valencia, who are now playing from the left. Second leg in the Luis Casanova Stadium in a fortnight's time. That's the ground where Northern Ireland had some memorable moments in the World Cup. So Whiteside, for one, will remember that only too well. Robson carrying. 
And again, Centre looks very confident. But it's good to see a midfield player take the ball on from that position, go all the way, get some power into the shot. Most expensive player in the country, possibly a slight deflection from Brian Robson's shot. There's Grimes and now Cockrell. Oh, I say Grimes got taken by Tendilio. With a bit of revenge, I think, there, maybe, because Ashley Grimes, despite the handshake, was responsible for the challenge in which Moreno got hurt and carried off in the first half. And he was caught there by a spot of retribution from Tendilio. Stapleton. Oof, say. Tendilio certainly not mincing his challenges now. But uh, United, from their point of view, needing to make something of one of these free kicks. Now that they're attacking the Stretford end. And that fervent support. The Queen is making it clear that he wants the ball floated across. It's been played square to Ray Wilkins, who I know is keen to improve his goal tally this season. He's aiming for double figures. And uh, he's only scored four goals for United in three years here. And that shot was going away from the left-hand post of the goalkeeper all the while. Koppel. Oh, that's well played. Having a good match is Steve Koppel, but he's looking to the right here for Wilkins. Good cross, white side. Took it on the chest and turned to volley. That was a good ball in from Ray Wilkins. And Whiteside took it on the chest and then hooked it, getting underneath the ball. already had the yellow card. Koppel. Still Koppel. Good play by Koppel. Oh, and turned back, and it was missed by Robson. Oh, dear me. A lovely cross by Steve Koppel here. Watch Norman Whiteside on the near post to us retrieve a ball that appears to be going out and Robson couldn't make contact and neither could Stapleton. Pablo, oof, on to Kempis, that's good play. Sara coming through the centre, Roberto joining the attack now, Kempis. Well, it was a limp left foot shot rather than a lethal one from Kempis. waving the strikers to fresh positions looking for movement ahead Orbiston provided there by Stapleton shot from behind quite cynically by Tendilio that must be the card now isn't it well he's had five or six digs at Stapleton Miguel Tendilio and he is booked the third player from Valencia to have his name taken and in his case, it was repeated misconduct, repeated foul play on Stapleton particularly.
A lot of gesticulating going on, but it's a free kick to Manchester United. Halfway through the second half now, no score. In came McQueen, it's a Wilkins shot that was miscued, it offside flag was up, offside against Whiteside, I think. United fans hopeful there might have been a handball and a penalty, but it's not that. Two ricochets. I think Wilkins would agree the original shot was not on target. which deceived Orbiston, maybe Saura pushed him. And now Duxbury in that acre of space on the right flank. Roberto is trying to cut it down, here's Stapleton. Duxbury's maintained his run. Nice turn. Popo. Duxbury. It's Popple's cross. Right across, Brian Robson went flat on his face, and still it won't go in. The number of times that Manchester United have got the ball in the penalty area can't be faulted, but they haven't managed to finish. Solsona. Hoppel. Wilkins, Duxbury down the right wing. Stapleton just inside. Robson making a strong run down the centre forward position. Unlucky. Beautiful move. Throwing first to the right with Duxbury. Stapleton the supporting player. Look at Robson start his run then out of your picture. And there he goes for the header back in the picture to put it over. Subirax comes on as the second Valencia substitute. They may feel the job is nearly done, and they're going to bring off their attacker, Pablo. Just over a quarter of an hour to go, and the crowd tonight, 46,500. A tremendous tribute to the Manchester United supporters who've had three home games to watch in eight days but still come in vast numbers. And Subirats is on. Arias. Now then, Tendilio waiting for his goalkeeper. Barretti. Buchan. White side. Through the legs of Bochubot. Wilkins spreading wide Orbiston. Back in by Ashley Grimes to Whiteside. Can he get past Bochubot? Wilkins. Grimes. Hammered away by Arias. Well, Valencia have used both their substitutes. Manchester United so far have chosen not to make a change. Stapleton. Roberto. Kempis. Solsona. Castellanos, Kempis. Solsona. Sara. Well played by Arthur Orbiston. That was neat. So was what followed. The problem is just bypassing all these white shirts and Kempis is in. He's got past Buchan, has he? He has, and Gary Bailey makes his first save of the night and how important it was. But at the other end, Stapleton threatens. 
Grimes. Brought down. Roberto, number nine, the offender. Yellow card. Yellow card for Roberto. Spanish players argue. Four players booked they've had now, but my word, what a let off at the other end for Manchester United. And what a good stop by Gary Bailey in the end. The play got too elaborate in the back four, and Mario Kempis was away. But even a man who scores two in the World Cup final can miss from there. Well done, Bailey. joins the wall, looks as if Robson may shoot. Dead! <laughs> Popple mingling with the wall and Robson finding room, but it curled just past the post. Goalkeeper probably had it covered, actually. Off we go again, McQueen. Nicely turned inside by Stapleton there. Robson past uh, Castellanos. It's Stapleton. And there might be chances here. Corner. Stapleton gets a flick on it at the far post, it just caught the woodwork, I think. Near post corner from Ray Wilkins, a flick by Frank Stapleton. The story of United's night, really, the ball dips onto the bar and away. Very unlucky on the part of Stapleton and indeed on the other United players. Another day that might have come back off the bar to one of them. Nicely played between the two England men there, Wilkins and Robson. Koppel, the third England player, is further inside as Stapleton gets brought down yet again. And this time the linesman goes across at Tendilio already booked, remember. Stapleton's holding his face. Now, are the linesman and referee going to do anything about Tendilio here? Just see it again. Stapleton down the right. Actually, he caught him in the stomach. And he fell heavily onto his uh, face, I think, Frank Stapleton. And I think one again finishes a match saying that the Continental team are lucky to have 11 men on the field. The sheer cynicism of the Spanish defenders, made evident last season by Barcelona and indeed in the World Cup, personified there by the international centre-half Tendilio. Look at that. Actually, his foot started off in Stapleton's stomach and then went into his face. So, a free kick to be taken by Wilkins. McQueen... Augustin, Wilkins wanting it played wide to the right, onside! Oh dear! That's probably what he said. It's a fairly agonising moment for Ray Wilkins, he had a lot of space, and for once the linesman's flag favoured United. Grimes, Orbiston, Grimes. Oh. 
and Stapleton far post. He's angry, the goalkeeper, he thought uh, perhaps that the uh, flag should have gone up earlier. Ashley Grimes getting round the outside there. And the goalkeeper, he thought it went out actually before Stapleton headed it. Subirats on this side Solsona in the middle Roberto Saura and Kempis turned back by Augustine we're in the third minute of stoppage time Stapleton to Robson Coppel Good challenge by Carete, and look at Kempis, it's one against one with Martin Buchan. Solsona to his right, Saura. Subirats making ground on the far post. Saura is waiting to find Solsona. Who couldn't go through the crowd, and here's McQueen. Duxbury. Hopper. McQueen. And it was an overhead attempt by Norman Whiteside. Cross coming in again from Steve Coppel. There have been a stream of those. Right side doing his best. Well, the last time Manchester United played in Europe, they only drew at home in the first round and went out in the return.